So in my last video where I was transparent about how I made $1,000 selling beats in one month, a lot of people after that video wanted me to actually do a little bit more of an in-depth run through of my website, which I used to drive traffic to as part of the beat selling process. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you a tour of my website and give you a basic brief showing of how I created the website and what I needed in order to create this website. So without that, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, by the way, hit that subscribe button, it's the best way to support the channel. But we're gonna, again, we're gonna have a very nice transparent free flowing video and I'm just gonna show you through my website, give you a little quick tour, the layout of everything because there are a few things I've actually added extra since that last video. And then I'm gonna show you the site that I used to make this website so yeah there's a lot to be discussed in this video so let's crack on so what you're looking at now is my website this is the beat store that i have made as you can see there's a cool visuals going on here this is all through a site called canva now for those of you who don't know what canva is canva is a really cool online photo editing and image creating site where you can create anything from logos to taking this stock footage it's great i created all of this artwork using stock images which are free in canva which you can use for yourself it's great and yeah like i wanted to create something that was visually appealing for people who came to the website so i didn't want to just have like a photo i wanted this cool little visual and i found this and it worked really well just for me because a long time ago i decided the branding on my type beat business was going to be this sort of like yellow color so this black and yellow i feel like very much complemented the logo which is why i had it in and this is stock footage you can use as well but maybe for your brand it may not be the best thing to use but i thought it was cool and as you saw i did a breakdown in my last video where i also linked all my socials i wanted to get my music maker merch in there which is another again a little project which i'm really starting to invest in for the new year i put beat stars and airbit on there because i know there are some people who may want to buy beats who may not be comfortable buying from a website so they may be familiar with airbits or beat stars so i just put them up there just in case someone would be more comfortable buying beats up there then i got my instagram and my youtube typey channel now one of the really cool things i added was this the little subscribe icon here so people can subscribe to my youtube channel directly from the website and it has a live count on there and it's also embedded into every page as well trying to grow the type of channel so that's really cool even though a lot of my traffic will be from my youtube channel so i'm hoping they'd already be subscribed if they're not it's just another chance to get a subscribe i put this in here which again is inspiration of a video that he did and a website that they made for matthew may this website is very similar in some aspects to this website that they created, uh, which I also highly recommend that you check out their channel after this video as well, because again, credit where credit's due. But I wanted to make a few more, uh, just like alterations of my own to make the website a little bit more own, but things that I felt would help me get more sales and ways that I could improve on the website that they already did a great job of designing. So I added this section was the browse instrumentals by genre. Now I'm gonna show you like what has gone into making all this of course but now because i produce quite a different amount of beats over time pop rap beats synth pop pop ballads indie alternative acoustic country and pop rock type beats i wanted to make it a little bit easier for people visiting the website to find the beats they want because before obviously i have an embedded player blaze player it's called from beat stars for those who don't know what blaze players are if you've gone to beat stars these are the blaze players you can create what you do is you create a track list so if you go on your media track list you can click on that and then group your tracks together into a certain genre name it and then create a blaze player from that track list so that's how that works and then you just get an embedded code which you'll see in the edit section of your blaze player and you can embed it into your site um so now again so the blaze player it integrates very nicely and then also got the licensing information below which you see i have that button's disappeared actually that's interesting but i do i will have to see what's happened there but there's a button which will uh, go down so they can view the licensing and also like trying again this is all from uh, credit to the heat layer i did i thought this was very great and easy way and i got some stock fish again this is all from canva to be able to make it make more sense to people on the website how it works and then these nice little buttons here little simple things you can do to get people back up to the top where they can buy beats and you can also advertise bulk deals as well so again back to the browse instruments by genre because i've linked this to different sub pages which i'll show you the depth you can now browse just by genre to a new track list which has all my pop beats on it or let's say we wanted to browse synth pop goes out to a new page from the website and there's that license information so if you want to know about the information for licensing they can drop down to there 
Um, and I've just done this today, so there is a couple of issues. It's jumped to acoustic or piano ballad. I will be correcting that. But again, I just wanted to get this video for you because I've just done this, and this is the new layout that I'm going to be doing in 2023. So then the next thing that I also want to do was add a bio. A bio for me was something I wanted to add so I could send people to it who, if I was working outside of beat selling, they wanted a little portfolio to know more about me. So I added this cool little section in here um, where I added, again, just some examples of previous work, which I linked from YouTube, how they can get in contact with me, um, and also my advertising my YouTube channels as well because I take YouTube very seriously. And there's another link back, so if they want to find Beats, click on that and they can go back to browsing Beats. Integrating everything really nicely. I have another channel, uh, another page, sorry, for my services and a pop-up box as well to collect emails. And I just advertise all my services in here and again, another portfolio, which again, this page is in the works, but you can see not just using my Beat Store uh, for sending beats, but also to advertise other services. Then I've got a direct link to my YouTube channel because again, this is my main channel. So I like to drive people to it as well. Just for people who may be curious what I do. And of course, I have a contact box where you can get in contact with me in other ways. And um, so, yeah, so that, that is the beat store as a whole. So, you probably want to wonder what it is. So, I use Wix to create this website. Uh, this is Wix and this isn't the Wix editor. So, basically what it is, is you can create from templates and drag all this in. So, this is, again, this is an image that I created in Canva and dragged into here. Um, and, like, these are all fonts from Wix. So you can just choose whether what you want to add. So click on here. So if you want to add a strip, which is another section of website, you can add text, you can add images, again, buttons, which then you can link to different parts of your website. It's very easy to use. Gallery. So like, again, there's just so much that can be done to like make a website your own. There are everything from free options to get a website with Wix right up until paying an annual subscription or paying for a pro membership with the free one Wix will advertise on the website so you will get Wix popping up in and around Wix ads on here if you pay I think little I pay six pound a month so I don't have to pay ads I have a custom domain which is www.joegortry.com which I've had for a couple years and I use and having a custom go around gives you a little bit more um, credibility online in search results because you've got a domain which is more trusted because like you paid for it and Wix help you get that um, properly up there in official so again it's good to do so a domain is something to consider but normally when you buy a wix account they will give you the option to throw in uh, a custom domain for the website which you can pay for so it's very easy again i haven't been endorsed by wix to make this video but wix is what i've used so and that's that's how i arrived at this and so i'm going to quickly show you canva because canva for me is the best tool in the world as you can see I, all sorts of things in here i create loads of different templates and everything and uh, at the moment, this is literally what I've been doing today. I'm creating some new t-shirt designs because I want to release some producer-only merch, as you can see there. So like, I've been experimenting around with different things, but all this, again, is just like from stock stuff. So yeah, again, but this is this is something for the new year. But Canva is what I use. So as you can see uh, right here, these are the images that I used for them. That I did have the text in before, which I got from here as well. But, and then you just bounce them, and it's just great because it's stock and it's free. You can get a free Canva membership. It does limit some of the photos you can get because some of them are just for people who pay the subscription. But I think I literally pay about £9 a month for Canva, and I use it every day. I use it for all of my thumbnails as well for this YouTube channel that you're watching this video off. So, again, like some of them I've kept on for quite a while, but it's just it's, it's great, and I use Canva all the time. I mean, there's not a day that goes by. Even as a music producer, I don't do photo editing uh, or sort of creating templates images and stuff like that and that's all through using canva so i highly recommend you check out canva and the beautiful thing about having a website is as well then that means you can link this to the top right here so when i visit beat store it goes directly to my beat store so um i just want to say as well that the 200 independent artists this isn't something you really want to make up and this isn't made up because i sell my services on fiverr and air gigs as well, two sites where I've made custom beat making. And genuinely, I have had over 300 reviews, in fact, on both of them sites combined. So there is a little bit of credibility to me adding this in. It's not really something you want to, to make up, but again, having this in, as was pointed out in a heat video, it's, it gives a little bit of credibility. So when people come in to this website, they can sort of get the sense that 
this is like a proper trusted website and again like there are other ways you can do that like you can set yourself up registered business on google and start getting reviews on there as well you can link any freelance sites you're on if you have any where you have ratings and you can also create custom tabs where maybe if you were with artists before get them to leave a little bit of a testimonial or something and do it in quotation marks again something different that i'm not doing make the website your own and who knows like again like it just helps add a lot of credibility to the website but again the one thing i want to emphasize with your website is you want it to be as functional as possible and as easy to browse so just having one embedded player like i have i didn't feel like it was enough and people would maybe only check out the first five to ten beats i noticed so having this little browse section which i just added which as you see isn't completely working yet because some of the links go into the wrong place. I only launched this today, this new layout, but it's going to work very well going forward in 2023 and optimize not only for the search results, having different pages for different subgenres, but also optimize for the user experience who goes on here. So again, that is what I've done behind that. And the most beautiful thing is because it's embedded players, you don't have to pay any extra money to do transactions through your website because it's through an embedded player so it's still technically in my case through BeatStars which means all of your discounts and all of your bulk deals which you have on BeatStars are linked to your embedded player so as I've done here I have advertised them to my website but you uh, don't have to do anything complicated to make it happen inside the embedded player because you just have to let them know of it and when they go to checkout they can apply the bulk deal and because you've set up BeatStars or any discount code it will automatically join. So the beautiful thing is like I did for my Black Friday deal I could create a new strip for example where I did a strip and added uh, the Black Friday deal and all the information there and I was able to create a banner for the page so people who went to the site would know that there's a Black Friday sale if they didn't see that advertised on Instagram or YouTube so that's another beautiful thing about it and of course this is linked to Google Analytics uh, I do have embedded players linked to Google Analytics as well because with a Wix account you can't register an add to cart because it's through BeatStars but you can still track users who go on your website and you can track clicks so you can see how engaged people are and you can also track how long they're on your website for so you can really opt see how uh, the website's performing in terms of uh, viewer time and the last thing you can also do beautifully is on Wix it does give you information as well here if you don't have Google Analytics so you can see site sessions you can also see what type of sessions so you can see if people visit you from Instagram from YouTube and uh, all direct which would normally be attributed to email marketing so again there's just so many ways you can optimize it's just so good having a website and you can really start to home in and get an understanding of where your traffic is coming from without a lot of the way as you can hear i'm out of breath because there was a lot of information to give but i tried to squeeze it down into a short video as possible it's been free flowing i've just got back from a holiday away for the weekend not posted as much content recently so i hope i made sense in this video because i do feel like i have a little bit of video rust but yeah guys if you enjoyed this video smash that subscribe button and if you have any questions after this video which i'm sure you will i will try answering them in the comments or maybe topic for another video but yeah guys i hope you found this video helpful keep making music and i'll see you in the next video